Hello and welcome to Eltos Graphics. My name is Mike Hoppe and I welcome you to another tutorial. Today we are talking about UV radiation. What is UV radiation compared to visible light, compared to infrared radiation? How is UV radiation generated and uh, which kind of generation methods uh, we have. If we have a look to the electromagnetic spectrum, um, which you see on the left, you see we have visible light, which starts at about 400 nanometer wavelengths. Below that we have the UV radiation, which uh, starts at about 200 nanometers and, and at about 400 nanometers. Below 200 nanometers we'll have the so-called vacuum UV, which is also a UV radiation, but only exists in vacuum and therefore not in the standard atmosphere. First of all, let's talk about gas discharge lamps, which are used since decades to generate UV radiation. How does such a discharge lamp work? And how is it built? Firstly, you have a quartz tube, which uh, includes as well two electrodes and uh, a certain amount of mercury. An ignition voltage evaporates the incorporated mercury and creates a plasma. The um, plasma is set into different activated conditions because of the high voltage and uh, this generates a variety of UV radiation and UV wavelengths which you can see in the chart on your right. We differentiate between low pressure lamps which are mainly used for disinfection. They have a very low power of about 1 to 2 watt per centimeter. Then we talk about medium pressure lamps, uh, which we use in the printing industry, which have um, <coughs> power up to 240 watt per centimeter. And later on we'll talk about light emitting diets, but that comes a bit later. Let's talk a little bit more about the conventional medium pressure lamp where we have as a standard a mercury filling which has a high amount of UVC radiation. This radiation is good for surface curing and for curing thin layers of inks and coatings. If we add certain metal to the mercury in small amounts, uh, we are talking about uh, dopage, then we can adapt the spectrum of the UV bulb to our requirements. For example, if you include iron into the bulb, you have a um, spectrum which is more in the UVB and UVA sector. That is better for in-depth skewing, so higher layers, thicker layers, and uh, these bulbs are also used for um, <coughs> high reactive UV inks. Lastly, we have the gallium doped lamp, which has a high amount of radiation in the UVA range. These bulbs are usually used for curing opaque white or thick layers. Uh, 